I guess the Western Bulldogs uh, were already sort of, well, just quietly confident that they would live to fight another day. And we're looking at a, uh, a final against Collingwood next week. But, geez, didn't things turn around? Well, well Freo looked like they just weren't up for finals footy. They didn't handle the situation well. And then they stepped it up. So we look at the swing. So grand final was a 93-point swing. Three goals up in a grand final, lose by 70. And then they're up by 41 points and then lose by you know, 10 or 12 or whatever it was. So that's a horror, horror loss. Now, we talk about Carlton not handling the big moments. Well, the Dogs haven't handled good, uh, big moments in their last two finals yeah. either, don't they? Now, and, we'll get to that in a minute. Bernie wants to raise a point, Lotto, before we dissect you know, what that means and those swings mean. Fundamental breakdowns yeah. in their defence. Whenever they don't win the clearances or the contested footy, they won it in the first quarter last night, and then all of a sudden they stop to lose that, and then they can't defend. And then I thought this last night pretty much summed up the Bulldogs. Five players in there on a two free match. you got your coach yelling at you that they're throwing the ball in. This is a crucial part of the game. Look at that. That is 53 apiece. First goal of the last quarter was so important. They go forward. They had three extra players at that stoppage. And I just thought that they weren't switched on at that point and they should have been. Good vision. So, Lordy, as you said, 93-point mm. swing in the grand final last year, 54-point swing last night. Luke Beveridge, though, doesn't think there's any comparison. I think it's dangerous comparing this one to last year's grand final. I mean, that was... That was um, you know, all the adjectives have been attached to it, but um, I mean, tonight it was different. Well, I don't think it was different, and I don't think it's dangerous to compare. I think it's quite obvious to compare. I mean, they conceded 16 of the last 17 goals of a grand final, and then last night conceded 11 of the last 13 goals. Do the maths on that. They've conceded 27 of 30 goals in well, those two stretches of play in their last two finals. We've done the maths. Uh, based on their two halves of their past two games, the scoreline's 23-9, 147 to 5 7 yeah. This one's worse, don't you think, Kano? It's Fremantle, who had four players who had played in a final. Mm. They're 41 points down, and they just capitulated. Yeah, they did. And I, I think the role of a coach is to maximise what you've got on your list. And Luke Beveridge, if he really looks in the mirror and says, have I maximised what I've got on the talent on my list? And the answer is clearly no. Look, I don't think they really want for much on that list. Your line... Uh, Western Bulldogs forward line up with Fremantle's last night, chalk and cheese, but Justin Longmuir has put a defensive process and strategy in place that has held up all year. Luke Beveridge has been un unable to do that, and he comes into next year under significant pressure. I thought Fremantle got them with superior leg speed last night and ball movement, and you think of these players last night, Walters was really good, Clark had pace on the outside, Frederick. Walker, Switkowski, Frederick, Schultz, these players just destroyed them after half time, the ball movement added to the leg speed and the Bulldogs just couldn't keep up when they don't win the clearances fundamentally they break down but this Freeman that young man he played a great game in his uh, first final as well yeah that's terrific and well led by their two young mids as well